I don't go to no day. I have Jennifer Lopez's song stuck in my head. Before I get started with this video, I just wanted to let you guys know the final episodes of this season is coming up, and at the end of this current episode, I'll be showing you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what the last few episodes are going to be about. It is a little more serious, and like I said in my previous video, it's a little more personal, so the vibe of that sneak peek is not gonna match, you know, what this video is about, but I have no other time to actually show it to you guys, so it's kind of what it has to be. But yeah, so um, look forward to that, and let's get started with the video. Hey guys, it's Gabriel. So today I'm going to be talking about my epic school talent show that happened back in November. A little bit after I came back from epic orientation, I was told that the school talent show was coming up. I don't know if it's normal for the epic teachers to actually participate, but because Sunny and I's relationship was very close, she basically asked me to perform with some of the students. We came up with this idea that we were gonna perform Five Little Monkeys, which was a lot of fun, very active, and then Island baby which is sort of a slower kind of a lullaby actually it's sort of like a traditional nursery rhyme so my job actually was to try to translate the island baby song from Korean to English obviously with Sunny's help because I don't speak fluently after I figured out what each line said I tried to get the words to fit rhythmically Rhythm is that right rhythmically it was me and five students Sunny would be playing the mother and I would be playing the doctor we practiced basically every day five little monkeys jumping on the bed we could have just sang it and you know did the da, 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 like we could have just done that but we really wanted to like try to make it a little more of a performance and so every monkey that fell off the bed in the song one of the students would actually play the monkey and actually fall on the stage it was uh, a little more comical in that way and enjoyable I think for the audience to actually see them do that we were all singing and it was good I don't have the best singing voice but you know I was doing it for the kids so as far as Island Baby goes the goal was to sing it one time in Korea Korean and then one time in English but then Sunny wanted to like put a twist on it and she was like how about you sing the Korean by yourself in the beginning and then the students can join in like halfway and then we'll all sing it together in English and I was like ew that's like putting me on the spot especially in front of this audience it's a huge audience there's so many parents I was actually blown away by how many parents and visitors we had coming to the school just to see this talent show and the talent show itself it was just it was very long it was like three hours I want to say maybe long Longer, but it's super enjoyable and I actually really liked it. There's so many different things there. There was groups playing, you know, traditional drums. We had a lot of jump rope groups. Students really liked to jump rope and um, they were doing like these cool designs. I don't know if I got any of it on my camera, but yeah, just a lot of different types of performances and the students really put their all into it. And so it makes me excited for the talent show that's gonna come up this year. I don't know if I plan on being a part of it. I feel like maybe I'll be forced to. Too, but but I don't know it was a lot of fun so this was my favorite group it was towards the end and it was like one of the youngest classes they were like maybe in second grade I think or first grade maybe they were playing this James Bond music and they're just kind of like marching towards each other and it just became like an all-out battle and unfortunately I didn't get all of the video footage on my snapchat but it was so funny the kids were like really going at it with each other and then by the end there was like a twist because one of the kids was gonna punch this other kid but then you know the two kids that were like rivals in the story all of a sudden tried to help each other out and then this girl was involved somehow, I don't know. <laughs> it was very funny. It was nice to just sort of see the support that these students got from their parents. They didn't even have enough chairs. There were parents that had to like stand in order to watch their kids. And it just felt so, it felt so alive. And also it kind of made me nervous because I was like, oh no, like everyone's gonna know this song that I'm gonna sing. I got like a little bit of stage fright, but I just, I tried to focus on the kids and I was like, I'm doing it for them, so. Okay, getting ready with my kids for the talent show. Yay! Are you excited? Yay! Are you excited? Yay! Are you ex I was showing us like on our way to the performance. We got some pictures in like the waiting hall area that, you know, we were waiting at. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at how our performance went and I hope you like it.
So what did you think? Was it good? Was it bad? I don't know. Leave comments down below. Tell me what you thought about it. This day was actually nice uh, for me because it was um, Thanksgiving. I wasn't feeling lonely, but you know, it makes you think about what you're missing out at home, especially when you go on Facebook. Oh my gosh. People posting food and you know, what they're doing with their loved ones and it's like, oh. But I did have fun with my kids, and then also there was another faculty dinner that night. We had shabu shabu. Uh, it was okay. I feel like every time we have these faculty dinners, it's always something exotic, but I would say that this was a little more preferred over raw fish, so, you know, who doesn't like soups, I guess. But in general, like, it was a really good day. The kids did a really good job. They really put forth the effort. I'm excited to see what happens this year as far as, you know, the talent show goes and how I'm involved, if I am involved. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Zuff678. Be yourself, love yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is the very last episode before we start going into my final episodes, and I will show you guys a sneak peek now. <laughs> She doesn't live alone. She doesn't die alone. She dies as a you know in the prayer and the presence of God. So that's the cup that makes me
recibir leyes. Y por favor, en go. Por favor, en go. Are you going to be okay? This was something I never thought I would ever try. It was the live octopus, and I was definitely terrified because you see it moving on the plate, and it's just like squishing around, and it just makes you wonder, like, does it have feelings? Like, does it feel it? Like, it was alive, and then they chopped it, and then it's like all the little 